Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. In this video, I will use three amazing prime lenses that sometimes I use to shoot portraits and I will use these lenses in all the possible apertures. I will use the 85mm f1.2, my favorite 135mm f2 and the 200mm f2.8 and I will use them from the widest open aperture to the closest available aperture on each of these lenses. On this really beautiful location, we will, we will be on a tripod on the camera and I will be standing on the same place for the, all of the photos and we have the background which is a little bit separated from me, probably around 40 or 50 meters as you can see there. And let's see what is actually the difference between 1.2 and, and f4 and for example f11 or f32. So I hope you stay with me until the end. We are starting right now. The first lens that I am going to be using today is actually going to be the lens that I use most often for shooting portraits. I'm starting with the 135mm f2 lens. So let's go and test that lens. Okay, let's start with the 135mm lens. So now I am shooting at f2. A little by little I will go to the maximum that, that the 135mm lens can go and it's the f32. So before I change the settings, before I change the aperture of the camera, I need to mention that usually when I use this lens, I use it at wide open aperture in 99% of the photo shoots that I am doing usually. That's my rule. If I don't have a reason to close my aperture, I am just gonna shoot at wide open aperture and I'm really happy with that. With the 135mm, I am usually shooting it only at f2. And now, little by little, we will close the aperture and we will go to f32 and we will see how much this beautiful background will change when we close the aperture a little by little. And why I choose this location? I have the background which is quite far away from me. It's probably between 50 and 100 meters away from me. And I also have some things here around that are not that far. And you will see how they also change the bokeh when I close the aperture. So let's go now and have some fun. We are now at f2 and little by little I will close the aperture to f32. So now let's go to f2.2 so f2.5 f2.8 f3.2 so f3.5 f4 so as you can see we already closed from f2 to f4 which is already around two stops so from now we go further f4.5 f5 f5.6 f6.3 f7.1 f8 f9 f10 and F11, F13, F14, F16, and this is F18, F20, F22, F25. F29 and the last one for this lens F32 you see now that difference do you remember the image that I had at F2 yeah it was like this but we are here now at F32 and now we will go a little by little to F2 one more time and while we are going to F2 you will see once again how much this background will be changing it will be getting more blurred while we are opening the aperture to f2 from now on we are moving from f32 and we will go to the f2 again which is your favorite aperture actually for shooting portraits 
as I already said, my favorite aperture is f2 and I usually use every lens that I am using, I am using it at wide open aperture because I like to get the most of the, back, the, most of the background to be blurred when I'm shooting portraits. And now we are back to f2 and yeah, you can see the background is really beautiful and blurred now and you can concentrate on the subject. So now this was for the 135 millimeter lens and we will move to the next lens which is going to be the 200 millimeter prime lens at f 2.8. So let's go and check that lens now. So now this is the 200 millimeter lens at f2. Okay, this is a lens that I started using relatively recently and it is also a really amazing lens for shooting portraits. But one of the things for this lens that you have to consider is that you need to go quite further away from your subject and 200 millimeters. So at some stage you're not going to be able to maybe communicate with your model verbally. But now we're going to go with this lens and close it to the maximum aperture that this lens has. We are now at f. 2.8 and now a little by little I will close to the f32. Let's go and have some fun. So now it's 2.8 and we're going to 3.2, 4, f4.5, f5, f5.6, f5. already we lost two stops. We closed the aperture by two stops already and you can see the difference between the background when we were at f2.8. We are going further to 6.3, 7.1, f8, f9, f10, f11, f13, f14 f16 f18 now it's f20 f22 f25 f29 and the maximum of this lens it's f32 now you can see this background now it doesn't look very dramatic it doesn't look that much three-dimensional like it was at f 2.8 okay but what we're gonna do right now is we did the same thing with the 135 millimeter lens we're gonna go from f 32 to f 2.8 again so let's go and see what the difference will be we are now changing the aperture little by little and as you can see the background is already changing it's getting much more alert and beautiful and smooth and I really like that bokeh in the background when it's more blurred and even if I'm using the 200 millimeter lens to be honest I am only using that lens at 2.8 and we are now already at 2.8 you see that beautiful blurred background behind me okay that was for this lens and now we are going to the last lens for today and it's gonna be the 85 millimeter at 1.2 it's really amazing lens. It is the brightest lens that Canon has. It's at f1.2 and we will see how the background will change even further when it's not f2, it's not f2.8. It's gonna be 1.2. So let's go and have some fun. The next lens is 85 millimeter 1.2. Okay, here is the last lens that I'm going to be talking about today. It's the king of portrait lens, the 85 millimeter 1.2 and we are now at 1.2 aperture you can see this beautiful bokeh behind me it makes really beautiful three-dimensional image when shooting with the 85 1.2 and now from 1.2 we are gonna close the aperture a little by little and we are going to go to f16 which is the maximum for this lens so let's go and see what's gonna happen we are now at 1.4 1.6 1.8 f2 f2.2 f2.5 f2.8 
you can already see the difference, right? Already the background is not like it was at f1.2, right? So next, we're going to f3.2. F3.5 F4 F4.5 F5 F5.6 F6.3 F7.1 We are already at F8 F9 F10 F11 F13 F14 and the maximum that this lens can go to is F16 Alright, yeah, you can see what's, kept, what's going on now with the background, right? It's not already that blurred, it's probably almost in focus Do you remember the image that was at 1.2? Yeah, that much blood background. And now we are going to go back little by little from F16 to F1.2. So let's start and move. As you can see now, the background is changing a little by little. It is getting more blurred and blurred. And we're gonna go to the F1.2 again and you will see how much big difference it has. And yeah, even if I'm using the 85 millimeter at 1.2, to be honest, I just use this lens of 1.2. It's the beauty of this lens and I don't want to close the aperture when I use it. Right now, we are back to f1.2. Isn't that beautiful? So, this was the last lens that I am about to talk today. And I hope you find this video useful. And let me know if you are using any of these three lenses for shooting portraits. Just let me know in the comments. Yeah, I have the 85 or I have the 135. I would be happy to see what you're using and actually let me know what are your favorite lens for shooting portraits it will be really interesting to see what other photographers are using for shooting portraits so if you find this video useful don't hesitate to give me a thumbs up button and if this is the first time for you to check my channel be sure that even from now on I will be uploading quite a lot of interesting videos related to photography and related to my techniques for shooting portrait photography so you may consider clicking the red subscribe button below i will be happy to see you in the next video so thanks for watching this video until the end bye bye yeah.